was brilliant. Hello and welcome back to a new video. I know I didn't do this earlier and I know everyone else has already talked about it. I know this is an exhausted subject and I know this and I know that and I know the other and I know you're probably sick of hearing about this trailer. But, um, by the way, we are talking about the trailer. Which you probably, we've probably known by um, all the capitals that I'll probably put for the title and um, how enthusiastic I was about the beginning. And um, that was the most excited I have been about Doctor Who since series 10 with Peter Capaldi. And that is saying a lot. Ever since, feels like ever since Jodie Whittaker was announced as being the Doctor, I've gone into absolutely every single Doctor Who announcement half heartedly because I wasn't a fan of her as an actress from the beginning. I gave her a chance. I'm not one of those people that set up the Not My Doctor official Twitter account. I do actually really want to try with all the stuff she's done so far with Doctor Who, but I never, it never truly got me excited. There was always that feeling that I don't quite trust what she's doing, but this trailer has got all those previous preconceptions and sent a nuclear missile at it because she felt like the doctor properly in that trailer and i'm not just saying that but even though it was only one minute 17 seconds long that just when she said hi, hi i'm the doctor it felt so much more than when she said it before which was hi i'm the doctor she actually said it like she knew who she was as opposed to i've just regenerated but i still don't have a clue even though i've been the doctor for about six months now it actually felt genuinely i don't know i know i'm probably just talking absolutely nonsense because she's probably playing it exactly the same as the last series but i can't put my finger on it she just felt somehow less obnoxious than the last series and actually felt like the doctor and i loved that also what's this just come up on my screen i'm sorry it's just that this sometimes happens and it ruins all my videos sorry it's this thing that keeps coming off my screen i hope you didn't see it while i was recording that would have been very annoying but anyway yeah anyway by the way, sorry you didn't hear any background noises, it's just that I live in the world, so you probably will hear stuff as my dog's just come back from a walk, so you can imagine. But anyway, this trailer was absolutely brilliant. Jodie Whittaker found out the doctor, and I loved that bit when she said, something's coming for me. That was good. I liked that. I liked that a lot. But yeah, she dropped. <laughs> Yeah, and that looked like a different room in the TARDIS, because I'll tell you something, there was a chair in it, and it looked like the same chair that was in William Hartnell's console room, and the crystals were blue. Could we to find out that William Hartnell was not actually the first incarnation of the Doctor, but was actually the first incarnation of the previous 12 incarnations? What a load of rubbish. I'm sorry, I know this is going on to a rant now, but there's been so many stupid rumours that have come out recently. I mean, just use your brain. Of course William Hartnell's the first Doctor. Where? What evidence do you have to support that? And also this whole thing recently about Chris Chimnall's definitely leaving. And also there's this YouTube channel. He's a very good YouTube channel. And some of the stuff he says is genuinely gets me excited. And, it, and some of the rumours do actually come true. But I do have to point out one thing. I'm not going to give his name as I don't want to pile him in it as that wouldn't be fair. But he did this video called My Source Confirms. You might know who it is by now. That Chris Chibnall and Jodie Whittaker have stormed off set as Doctor Who. And do you know how he knows this? Because his friend cousin told him at a dinner party. His friend, who may be telling a lie, who's his cousin might be telling a lie that's like my brother's my big brother's cousin's dog told me that Jodie Whittaker was leaving that's how ridiculous that is it's just what and it's turned out it's a load of rubbish anyway as Jodie Whittaker and Chris Chibnall just confirmed that they're not leaving in the radio and times and Chris Chibnall's just said he's already working on series 13 so 
I'm sorry, this was meant to be a positive video, but I just absolutely hate the amount of ridiculous rumours coming out at the moment. Just try and be positive. We're getting a new series of Doctor Who. Whether you like it or not, this is the current era, and I know I'm not the huge fan of all this stuff, but try and keep an open mind about the next series, because so far, what I've seen about the next series looks absolutely brilliant, and I'm going to be as positive as I possibly can, and really look forward to it. And if it doesn't work out, then okay, then I can express my opinion of why I don't like it but until it's actually aired I'm keeping an open mind I'm going to try and look forward to it I'm not going to be go I'm not one of those people that's going to go oh look it's Jodie Whittaker wearing a tuxedo oh look at her it doesn't suit her it makes her look fat oh, I hate it I'm sorry I hate it loads of stupid comments and also this not my doctor official twitter account Jodie Whittaker the Britain's face of unemployment well, that's just a load of lies anyway, because she is employed. She's employed being the Doctor in in the world's longest running science fiction show. How is that unemployed? I'm sorry, it's just, it really winds me up. But on a lighter note, Cybermen are coming back. Woo, big surprise. I'm sorry, it did, it did get me excited when I watched it, but we did also know that because of the filming pictures a few months back. But anyway, the Simon Design close-up look brilliant, by the way. Do you know why I like them? Because they look like the Age of Steel rise of the Cybermen. Cyber Cybermen with the proper faces, not the Iron Man, Knickerbocker, whatever it was nonsense marvel dc comic look cyberman that we got throughout nightmare in silver dark water pig in heaven whatever yeah but what i'm going to try and do is i'm going to try and keep a big open mind about the next series as let's look at peter capaldi's era peter capaldi is possibly my favorite doctor of all time but i don't think i could say honestly that his first series was perfect i would say about 50% of it was watchable, and the other half was just rubbish. I'm sorry, but I don't like his first one, and I don't like The Caretaker, I don't like Listen. But to be honest, I'm not a huge fan of Dark Water, Death in Heaven, even though it did have Missy in it, and I do love Missy as a character, and she probably is maybe my second favourite master of all time. His first series was a rocky start, and although it had Time Heist in it, which I adore, Flatline in it, which I adore, Robot of Seward, which I adore, Series 11 had Rosa, which I adore, and Ratley's in the UK, which I love, and Sasranga Conundrum, which I really like, and also Deep in the Punjab, which is, you know, quite good. So, yeah, I just want to say... It might actually be good. It might actually be a big surprise to everybody because I don't think when Peter Capaldi started as the Doctor, anyone expected Series 10 to come. Because you never know, this might be Series 10. And also, as I said, that got this trailer got me the most excited as it did since the Series 10 trailer. Because, oh, and also I've got a few fan, fan theories which may have already been said. So I'm sorry if these have already been said. Because what I've tried to do is I've tried to just say my opinions now before I get bombarded by other people's opinions. Because I haven't watched any theories, any breakdowns of the trailer yet, any reactions. These are just my own thoughts, what I've got right now. Of course the Cybermen are coming back, the June are coming back. And by the way, I heard an absolutely awful fan theory the other day. Uh, an utter nonsense, saying that the Jadoon are women because they've got Mohicans. What a twisted idiot thought of that? But um, anyway, yeah, we know that, Cybermen Jadoon. I think the Sea Devils are in it, and I'll tell you why. Because, one, it was rumoured for months and months and months now. Two, Jodie Whittaker running towards the sea. <coughs> And also, weird alien thing that seemed to have this some sort of thing coming off it, which although it was a woman, it could be a sea devil. I mean, the Silurians look nothing like the ones from 1970 in 2010. So potentially, although I do think Chris Chibnall's digging himself his own grave if he does make the sea devils women, because just imagine what some fans will make of that. Chris Chibnall's making all the aliens women. It's been his plan for years. I've also heard one um, ridiculous rumour that Chris Chibnall's plan from the get-go is to ruin Doctor Who, as he's not a real fan. How did I get back onto this subject again? I'm sorry, it just winds me up. Please, people, be nice. Just be nice. Be nice. Is, is it too hard to ask that fans can be nice to each other? Anyway, on a tangent. But anyway, I am excited beyond belief, and I hope you are too. If you're not, 
I don't know why, because it's a trailer, it looks good, and it's got the Cybermen in it, so you maybe need to see a therapist or something, but anyway, sorry, that was a joke, I don't mean to offend people, but anyway, thank you very much for watching today's video, and um, I sure hope you have moderately enjoyed, and I'm sorry I didn't do this video earlier, because I've been out all day, so I haven't actually watched the trailer since like five minutes ago, and it's now half five at the time of recording, it was really hard by the way, I mean it was very hard trying to contain myself, not to just be in the middle of town and go, right I'm watching the trailer, but um, yeah I've waited, and I'm pleased I've waited, because like my whole day's been leading up to Doctor Who heaven, oh, sorry I'm just so enthusiastic, I'm just so enthusiastic, it was amazing, I've watched the trailer three times now, and I've paused it at certain points to try and get some theories out, oh I know the other one, my other fan theory, which I must mention, sorry, I'm, I'm overexcited, it's a trailer for Doctor Who, we haven't had one of them since, it seems like such a long time, it really does, but anyway, what the hell was my fan theory, I've forgotten brilliant thing to say isn't it i know i think the reapers might be back from series one father's day now i may be stupid as she might have said it in the trailer but it was so heavily edited i missed half of what she was saying but if this might just be a stupid fan theory and if it's not true then i apologize because it's just my stupid brain trying to get excited about doctor who and trying to dissect as much out of this trailer as i possibly can it's like squeezing a lemon until mm, there's no more juice in it yeah yeah series 12 trailers are lemon fans that's what it is so oh yeah and i'm about to squeeze it but um anyway that's my real sense of humor you don't normally see me get like that cherish it while you can better talk about this. this is going to get so many dislikes that i haven't actually practiced this video at all i've just sort of gone at it like a whirlwind with a slight obsession verging on i don't know but anyway i think the reapers might be back because josie whittaker said something's coming what could that be has she broken time like she did in father's day or he did she might have done and why would she, what, what makes me think that? Well, she also said that in the bit, which I think might be William Hartnell's chair that she's stolen from the TARDIS. She said this in the console room, and then all of a sudden, there was this red thing that appeared that seemed to look a bit like a reaper. I know, I'm too excited, but give me a break, it's Doctor Who. It's like I'm thinking now, you're speaking at me, getting cross. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I'm nuts, I can't help it, I can't help it, thank you very much for watching today's video, um, I was probably not going to edit this because, you know, I can't be bothered and I'm too excited to edit, if I did edit I'll probably just put dinosaurs running around on the screen because that's how overexcited I am now, thank you very 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 much for watching, if you watched it to the end you haven't just turned it off because you think he's a nutter, which you might have done, I'll I wouldn't blame you if you did, but um, thank you very much for watching today's video, and silence in the library.